The Omni tool from Mass Effect is a fascinating piece of technology. It's like a futuristic Swiss Army knife, or Doctor Who's sonic screwdriver. A tool that can get heroes out of all sorts of scrapes. But have you ever wondered how it actually works? Well today we're diving into the somewhat limited lore behind the Omni tool, to learn how it works, and what you'd be able to use it for if you ever got your hands on one. The main components of the Omni tool include a tiny computer microframe that controls the device. A sensor analysis pack helps the user scan and analyze their surroundings. And there's also a mini fabricator, which is the really unique part of the Omni tool. This fabricator is essentially an advanced 3D printer that can break down common materials such as plastics, ceramics, and even biogel to then reassemble them as various small three-dimensional objects. But where does this Omni tool actually come from? As the Omni tool itself is not the glowing holographic form we see appearing out of thin air, but it is instead a smaller device contained somewhere on the user's person, potentially in a wristband, like the one seen on Ryder in Mass Effect Andromeda, or maybe it's even implanted directly into the user's body, as is done with biotic amplifiers. This all isn't entirely clear, as with a lot of things in Mass Effect, the lore is pretty light which is why it's also been hard in the past to discern what the Omnitool interface is actually made of. One idea is that it is a holographic projection that is made interactable via haptic feedback gloves or implants directly into the user's hand, which would make sense as this is how most computer interfaces in Mass Effect work. But the Mass Effect 3 codex entry for Omnitool weapons tells us that the Omniblade weapon emitted from the device is in fact a disposable silicon carbide based structure that is flash forged within the Omnitool's mini fabricator and then suspended around the user's arm in a Mass Effect field. So from that info we can probably gather that the Omnitool interface that we see is a holographic projection made interactive via haptic implants and any tangible physical extensions from the Omnitool such as the variations of Omniblade or the Omni Riot Shield are all flash forged structures created by the mini fabricator and as for any other functions of the device such as analysis, hacking and communication one would assume that these are all handled by the sensors and microcomputer built into the actual physical part of the Omnitool. So now that we know how it works, what can the Omnitool actually be used for? With the Omnitool being standard issue for both soldiers and colonists exploring dangerous lands, many of the functions of the Omnitool are geared towards combat and exploration, including scanning surroundings, illuminating dark areas, dispensing medigel, hacking computers, forging riot shields, and creating a variety of customizable weapons, including Omniblades, and even Omni bow and arrows. But the Omni tool can also be used in day to day life, and if you were somehow to gain access to one, you'd be able to use the mini fabricator to repair items, utilize the Omni tool's camera to record or communicate with others, download and play video games, 3D print objects, and even project holographic Omni tattoos onto yourself, proving just how useful and versatile the Omni tool really is. What would you do if you had your own Omni tool? Let me know down in the comments and subscribe for more lore. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.